Alright, so WWE Roblox End of the Line is in the books. The final WWE pay-per-view of 2016. And guess what? It's time. It is time. Today on December 27th. It is time to give you top 5. And there will be a lot of top 5 videos this week. Alright. Top 5. Worst. WWE pay-per-views of 2016. And number five has to go to WWE Hell and Excel presented by Monday Night Raw on October 30th, 2016. Good grief, this pay-per-view was awful. And why do I say awful? It's a one match based pay-per-view. What I mean by that is, only one match was good. When you watch a pay-per-view, every minute, every second, every hour is supposed to be worth watching it's supposed to be breathtaking it's supposed to be like satisfying right hell in the cell was not satisfying hell in the cell was predictable after predictable it was predictable as shit okay roman reigns and rusev that hell in the cell match was the most boring predictable match of the night Bailey versus Dana Brooke? I get it, they don't have that much women on the roster, but still, man. Awful. Why? The story, well, what was the story behind it? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even remember the story. Um, Rollins and Owens was the only thing worth watching. The tag team titles between New Day and Cesaro and, uh, and Sheamus, that was a good match. So, maybe not a one-match pay-per-view, but then again, who's going to remember that match? Because New Day end up winning anyway. So, that, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm still sticking with one-match-based pay-per-view because looking back, it's like, Sasha and Charlotte, yeah, I mean, everyone, a lot of people, a lot of you going to tell me, oh, Sasha and Charlotte, yeah, yeah, well, first, 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 women's hell in the sun match, first, 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 women's, main event pay-per-view all that good stuff but at the same time I mean I got what I wanted I did want women to be in the same match types as the male but there was no need for this Hell in the Cell match and I probably did ask for this match but I don't know it's just that looking back after what we got it's like I don't want that I, I it's like your parents bought you a gift. They're surprised. They're, they're like building it up so much. Like, oh, I got you this. You're going to love it. It's awesome. And then you finally get the present. And you look at it. It's it, it's a fucking math book. Like, what? <laughs> You're expecting something to be in your interest. And then it's something that's outside your interest bubble. It's outside of it. It's outside the box. It's the outside looking in. It's like... You don't want this. I don't want this. No, give me give, give me something else. No, 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 I don't want this. That, that's how I felt about that match. Sasha being f tossed onto the, the 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 table. The table didn't break, and then started with the natural selection. It was the worst finish I have ever seen that on that night. And then, uh, like the match started. The match, the, the bell didn't ring, so the, technically the match didn't start until they were in the ring. You know, Sasha Banks after like 5 to 10, 15 minutes uh, doing that dramatic thing like, oh, she's going to be carted out of the arena. And then a second, a second Jojo was about to say, here's your winner by forfeit and new. And then Sasha was just like, no, I'm going to Daniel Bryan, WrestleMania 30 myself into this. Going to get off the stretcher, fight my way back inside the ring. And, and uh, Sasha wanted to do a superplex onto the table. But then... Uh, Sasha Banks pushed out, and then she just pushed it down, and it was a nasty, ugly fall. Like, hell the cell, just awful. And it was presented by Raw. What do you expect? What did you expect? 
All right, so that's number five. Number four, Roadblock getting the line. This this is recent, but at the same time, it's 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 necessary. Okay. Like I said, it should be from every minute, every hour, every second, from from the beginning to the end. The pay per view should be worth watching. Guess what? I did say to me, to me though, 50-50. It was 50% good, 50% shit. But guess what? It's not supposed to be that way in reality. Uh, if you if you're a paying customer, and 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 a company is producing a new product, shouldn't they make sure that the product or whatever plans they have for it is good? good enough for you to use your money to buy that product so meaning if you want to watch Hell in the Cell or sorry Roblox I should say if you want to watch Roblox and and you don't have the network but you're gonna get the network or like or you're gonna for some dumbass reason you buy it on pay-per-view for like 60 bucks shouldn't the WWE make sure that the storyline and the writing and the build up is worth your money so again 50 50 ain't good I'm sorry and I mean the women's Iron Man match wasn't good until the end it wasn't good until the end okay and I'm not saying this because of me. I'm saying this because everyone else is saying it. Everyone else is saying, oh, you know, the match was good until, you know, Sasha Banks was holding on for dear life. And then she tapped out with three seconds left to go, tying up between her and, and Charlotte. And then Charlotte had her in the submission hold again. Sasha Banks was bleeding from her mouth or nose. And then she tapped out. Charlotte became a four-time women's champion. And then Owens and Reigns was a boring Sucking the life out of you. Match. Pittsburgh was awful. Pittsburgh was just awful. The Royal Rumble 2014, you were good. But then, Roblox... Uh, I mean, then again, it's Monday Night Raw. I don't know. But, I mean, yeah, sure, the Cruiserweights, the match, uh, it was decent. And then, Neville coming back, that was good. He came back and, and turned heel. That was a great move. And then, you know, to me, Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman, that was a good situation Strowman beating the fuck out of Sami Zayn and then make foot about to throw in the towel but then Zayn was like no 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 and then he was able to survive the 10 minutes and the opening match Cesaro and Sheamus winning the tag belts that was great so and then Rollins when they got to Rollins and Jericho and then after after the cruiserweight match to Sasha and Charlotte that's when they got shit so like I said it shouldn't be 50 50 it should be at least 90 to to 100 percent good that's how it's supposed to be so roadblock end of the line has to be on this list as top five worst wwe pay-per-views of 2016. number three oh oh it has to go it has to go to fast lane fast lane jesus christ was this pay-per-view good at all? Is it worth watching? No, it's not. Fastlane was garbage. Garbage. Fastlane was just a big fuck you to you. That's basically what it was. It was basically a girlfriend dumping you in the nastiest way possible. Fastlane was like Donald Trump winning the, the U.S. presidential election. Okay, it, it, it was that awful. Like, the, when you think of a pay-per-view, you will, when you finish watching a pay-per-view and it's gone by at least a week or two, you look back at that pay-per-view and you're like, hmm, those were good moments, good things on that show. But I always hear people talk about WrestleMania, even though it was shitty, there were still some good moments. Uh, Royal Rumble or every other pay-per-view except for Fastlane, because Fastlane is that bad. To where nobody wants to talk about that. Do I need to mention anything? Reigns winning was just awful. Reigns uh, doing the WrestleMania pose, like when you win the Royal Rumble, you know, you're, you're posing at the WrestleMania sign and then Pyro goes off. That was awful. Uh, uh, Ziggler versus Owens, how many times? Uh, uh, Brie Bella versus fucking Charlotte for the Divas title. 
Jesus Christ. Oh my god. There's so many negatives. Yeah, sure. We had AJ versus Jericho, which was good. New Day and Edge of Christian was good until the League of Nations ruined it. Um, like, maybe the opening match, Sasha and Bailey, uh, sorry, Sasha and Becky against Tamina and Naomi, that was good. And then after those segments, everything else was, they had our truth versus Curtis Axel, man. Do I need to say more? Go back and, and you'll see. I'm not bullshitting when I say that. I remember everything on the top of my head. I am not using no research, nothing. I'm remembering everything I've watched this year. And Fastlane, oh my god, I'm getting a headache already just thinking about it. Ah. Number two is Extreme Rules. Oh my god, no. Extreme Rules. Yeah, sure we had Reigns versus AJ Styles, but at the same time, for God's sakes, we had an Asylum match. We had an Ambrose an Asylum match. We had a potted plant, a mop, nunchucks, and, and other bullshit weapons that was there. A 2x4? Really? An Asylum match. Need I say more? Need I say more? Huh? No, 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 I don't need to say more. Okay? Extreme Rules was just boring. New Jersey crowd was awful. I'm sorry. There's nothing good to look back at that pay per view. Plus, they had that crappy set. I just can't. Oh my god. Mm. That pay per view was just. Oh. Uh, mind grains. Like. I mean, yeah, sure, we had Rusev beat Kalisto, but no, we all knew that was happening because Kalisto was stale. The club beating the Usos, I mean, that was a good opening match, but, uh... And the New Day versus the Von Villains, that was decent, but everything else was just plain. Uh, Natalia versus Charlotte, which was supposed to be a good match, but the fans were just sitting there. Bored out of their fucking minds. We didn't really care. And then Dana Brooke got involved. And then the. Oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that pay per view was just. Oh my god. Mind grace. And number one. Oh, it has to go to Dallas, Texas. I believe early April. In the AT&T Stadium. WrestleMania. First of all, they lied about the attendance number. It was not 1,000. It was not one. Oh, one sorry, 100,000. It was not 100,000 to one. It was around in the mid 90s. Okay, mid 90s. Okay, that's where it was in the mid 90s. Mid 90s. Okay, of the f of people being uh, attend attending to the show basically. Like, and, and, and The Rock, oh my god, The Rock, I, that's the only thing I can remember. I can't remember everything else, but The Rock is the first thing that came to my mind. The Rock coming out with with a flamethrower, lining up his name on fire like he just threw his mixtape and then it just fire. And then The Rock coming down, going one side to the stage, to the other, walking down the ramp, getting in the ring, doing his pose, letting the fans cheer for how long. And then The Rock is like, finally, The Rock has come back to Dallas. And then... Uh, da, da, da. And then we broke a record. Tonight's about moments and records. We broke the record. 100,001, which was bullshit. Then the Wyatt family comes through. The, the Rock making fun of Bray Wyatt for his weight a little bit. Saying he ate, he eats, he eats, he eats pot, Hot Pockets. And then Eric Rowan got in the ring, wrestled The Rock for six seconds. And then... And then John Cena came out, which surprised the fuck out of me. I did like that part, but at the same time, Cena comes out, and The Rock and Cena basically buried the fuck out of the wife family. <sighs> Need I say more? WrestleMania, uh, Triple H, Roman Reigns main event. Do I have to explain? Do I have to explain? I'm gonna explain. Of course I'm gonna explain. This is the number one, so I'm gonna explain it. This may be 14 plus minutes, but I'm gonna explain right now. 
Roman Reigns from no from the entrance to the end of the match. Triple H's entrance to Roman Reigns winning the, the WWE title. To Roman Reigns spearing Triple H in the barrier, spearing Stephanie McMahon. Everything. The alternate crowd noise. Everything in that match was not interesting. Not a lot of people cared. And above all else, it was awful. It was awful. I would people always rag on Miz and Cena. I would take that than this match. At least Miz and Cena it build up for another match at WrestleMania. At least it build up the once in a lifetime, which turned out to be a lie, uh, match next year. Okay? At least the rock cost Cena the match, and then the next night they set up the match for WrestleMania twenty eight and then boom. So yeah, I would take that over. Roman Reigns winning the WWE title in the main event. I'm sorry. And then New Day losing the New Day Tag Team Champions losing to the League of Nations. And then the League of Nations was beaten up by three Hall of Famers, which I love very much. Okay? Foley, Michaels, and Stone Cold. And then Shane and Taker, the match wasn't really memorable, but the only things I can remember was Shane doing the coast to coast with Taker, Shane jumping off the cell, which was a beautiful thing to see, and Shane McMahon and Taker just taunting each other at the last moments of the match, and then Taker winning with a tombstone. So, that, everything else, I mean, the, the latter match was great, but I'd rather have Owens and Zayn for the IC title at WrestleMania, but that's just me. Um, the women's match was actually the best match of the night when it comes to wrestling performance. Uh, yeah, so do I need? Do, 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 does that sound a great? Does that sound WrestleMania worthy? No, that sounds battleground to freaking payback worthy pay per view. That's not WrestleMania. WrestleMania is. I don't want to say WrestleMania 17, that sounds like a Mark thing to say, but I would go like around 18 or WrestleMania 20, WrestleMania 21, you know, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, uh, you know, like any WrestleMania besides 11 and WrestleMania 1 and 2, uh, to me, we're good. And then WrestleMania 32 comes through, it's like, okay, we had... A couple of good WrestleManias, but now WrestleMania 32 had to be that one shitty WrestleMania. So that's my list of top five WWE worst pay-per-views in 2016. What do you guys think? Did I do that right? I'll leave a poll on top right of your screen where you can vote on did I did I pick the right pay-per-views? Yes or no? Do you agree with it? Yes or no? You know, you can vote or leave your comments down below. Leave a thumbs up. Hopefully, 2017 pay per views will not be all that shitty. I am out. Thank you for watching and happy new year.